Senator Mark Daly. Uh, thank you, Lasker Hirlick. And um, on behalf of the Fianna Fáil party, um, I'd like to welcome William and his wife and, and John Robb's daughter, Martha, here um, to the Senate to pay tribute to John Robb. Um, obviously, I, I didn't serve with him, uh, but an extraordinary human being by any measure, not by uh, measure in Ireland, but in global terms. Um, the fact that he was appointed, as Senator Norris points out, uh, by Taoiseach Charlie Hawhey and to the 16th Senate was not only controversial in Fianna Fáil, obviously, but it was also controversial, no doubt, in Northern Ireland. Uh, but the fact that he accepted the offer shows the character of the man, that he knew there had to be a different way. The fact that he was reappointed by Fine Gael, uh, shows the character of Gareth Fitzgerald uh, at a time when politics uh, wasn't as, uh, uh, as uh, accommodating and was far more combative in this house than in the other house at the time. And then to be reappointed by Charlie Hawhey um, uh, to the, the 18 Shannon again and to accept the appointment. The fact that he accepted the appointment in the most uh, trying of times in Northern Ireland and in, in terms of Southern politics as well uh, says a lot about the, uh, the fact that he was a man who was willing to reach out. The ideas that he is now uh, being honoured for uh, are now being uh, talked about again about a new vision for a new Ireland, an island. And the fact that um, he pioneered those terms when nobody else would pioneer them uh, or even speak about them um, says a lot about his vision. The fact that he came from a tradition of helping uh, those most in need, that his father had been a, a surgeon and a battlefield surgeon, of, which is the, the worst type of uh, a, a medical profession to have to be involved in, tells you that they have been through more trying times than being in the Shannon or being appointed to the Shannon. The fact that you have to sit uh, through a battle and try and help people who are in the most, uh, the, in many cases, in their last breaths would tell you that he was able to put up with a lot of the most trying of circumstances. Um, the, 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 as the Senator Norris pointed out, not only did he come here uh, but, uh, to do his work here uh, three days a week, but he also obviously did his rounds. I can only sympathise with Jeeve for the fact that on those lists, sometimes you probably weren't on the top of the list of priorities, uh, but I'm sure in his heart you were on the top of this, but um, as we know in politics, uh, families often suffer uh, more uh, because priorities in terms of patients when it comes to his work as a surgeon, uh, but also in terms of trying to uh, bring an end to the troubles were taking up a lot of his time, uh, which I'm sure you would have appreciated. Um, but the fact that the president who would have served in this house and served in the other house and obviously kept in contact with him, uh, said that he was an all island or in the best sense of the word, uh, shows that the words that he used in his time in here, which were new, uh, the idea of a new vision, uh, a new way of doing things uh, other than the slaughter that was happening in Northern Ireland at the time, shows that he was ahead of his time. Uh, we could do with him again, no, notwithstanding Ian Marshall's election, which will tell you how far we've come that we would elect someone from uh, Northern Ireland uh, to this house, um, would show how far we have come. But um, he was a pioneer um, and, um, and a visionary in uh, trying to bring people together um, when it was much easier to stay apart. Um, so uh, in that respect, I pay tribute to him today and thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.